A worldwide pandemic has not stopped some from attempting to cash in on the coronavirus. Taking protective measures on how to kill the virus is the number one goal for many. Aside from sanitizing wipes, gels, and sprays, there are alternative methods being offered. Yes, but what do the experts think about those methods? What about the tech sector's role? And what are some really offering? Channel 2 Investigates Mario Diaz is on the case. It's causing people to spend money on things that they shouldn't, and in some cases, it could be dangerous. This from Kevin Loria at Consumer Reports regarding the infodemic that now exists regarding what can kill the virus. Anytime that you have like a public health emergency like this, there are going to be kind of scammers out there and certain product makers. They're going to try to take advantage of the situation. Since the outbreak, the tech sector has taken action to remove misinformation and false advertising. Companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and Facebook going on the offensive. We've uh, formed partnerships with organizations like the WHO, the, the World Health Organization. But what actually works and what doesn't? Some local companies are pushing expensive approaches. Ballpark for, you're saying a 3,000 square foot home, I would say we're going to end up right around six to $8,000. Scott Moore is with Protected Catastrophe Management and O2 Wizard of Texas. Both companies say they can eliminate coronavirus through ozone created by their generators. PCM says they will professionally eradicate all pathogens, including the new COVID-19. But then look at this. The website also has an important disclaimer. It is believed that the oxygenation process will be able to kill COVID-19. I cannot say that this will kill COVID-19 because there hasn't been enough studies for them to even figure out the vaccine. If you can't guarantee that it's going to kill it, why are you offering it? Because I think it's a better process for people to come in into their homes and to know that before anybody comes inside and starts wiping down and cleaning, that we've done the very best thing that we think that we can do to clear the environment. And but it's what you think. It's not what is actually known to... I, I completely agree with what you're saying. And remember, this can cost you thousands of dollars. Dr. Jill Weatherhead, assistant professor of tropical medicine and infectious disease at Baylor College of Medicine, says go to epa.gov for the products they say meet the criteria to fight coronavirus. Over-the-counter topical disinfectants that have been approved will kill the virus. Meaning approved by who? By the EPA. I want my patients to know that there is credible information out there and that we should be looking to those experts. The Federal Trade Commission says to avoid being scammed, don't click on links to unsolicited emails from sources claiming to be from the CDC, the World Health Organization, or experts writing that they have information on the virus, and ignore any online promotion for vaccinations. The FTC has other recommendations listed. We have them for you in the Investigate section of Click2Houston.com. Mario Diaz, Channel 2 Investigates.